two, John. Day two. What have you done today? Well, I got up about quarter past nine, which is pretty good after jet lag. That's because next door neighbour decided to uh, saw some logs, which woke me up. Decided to uh, maybe go down to Bondi Beach. Heard a lot about it, so um, walked. Walked. Uh, I thought I could walk. I had this impression, so I bumped into these people and I said, uh, "How far is it to get to Bondi Beach?" Yeah. We're filming. We're filming. No, oh, honestly, I think we'll have to do another take. <laughs> <laughs> take two. So, um, yeah. So you're trying to get to Bondi. I think. What we were yeah, it's trying to get to Bondi, so I sort of bumped into these people and I said, uh, which is the right direction to Bondi Beach? Um, I said, actually, good day, and they were Germans, which was quite a surprise. And they said, it is too far to walk to Bondi, you need to catch the bus. And they pointed me in the right direction, so I found a bus stop eventually and waited for about half an hour, and all these buses were going to Watson's Bay. And I thought, well, that looks really, must be really sort of exciting place because all these people were getting on the bus to go there. So I thought I'd go to Watson's Bay instead. The only problem was that by the time I got to Watson's Bay, everybody had got off. Anyway, got to Watson's Bay and walked up and down a bit and around a bit. And then saw this, uh, this little bar overlooking the bay. So I thought, go and explore that and mingle amongst the natives. So I had a few beers there and a plate of chips. And this may be quite interesting to people at home if they ever come to Australia. Because uh, I asked the young lady, are they called chips here? And uh, she said yes. And then asked me if I was English. I don't know what that meant really, but... Uh, so that was interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yes, <it's> fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> interesting bit of information there for our fellow travellers. Um, and then I came home again, as one does when one's been out, and uh, decided what shall I do now? So I went down to, you notice the Australian accent starting to come through a little Already? bit there? Are you? <laughs> and then went down to the, uh, the local for another couple of beers, and then came home and uh, kind of potted around a little bit, because it's bloody hot out here, bloody hot. But I thought there would be a good chance to like expose my white body to the sun. Yes, now the white body, John. Um, Can you see the difference between my my legs and the? Are you, are you wearing socks or not? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Well, oh yes, I think. It's, it's getting less noticeable yeah, now, though. Less noticeable now, isn't it? You, you could almost be um, could almost be wearing socks there. So. Well, nearly. I hope at the end of six weeks that you will be able to tell the difference between the white socks well, and my legs. Let's set, set that as a bit of a target. All right. Really. An objective. An, an objective, because uh, I, I'm all for objective setting. Good, Lord. Goodbye. And uh, this is John Wheel, News at 10, Sydney, Australia. Thanks, John. Uh, that's the end, isn't it, really? Yeah. Is it? I hope so. Yeah. Um, I think I'll say, really, what a damn shitty place this is. <laughs> I've been bitten. God, I wish I'd never come here. Yeah, oh. don't, don't tell them about that. No, 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 you were fine actually. I don't think anyone, uh, I don't think anyone got the idea that you weren't enjoying it. Right, I'm glad about that yeah. because it's oh, the worst mistake I've ever made in my life coming here, I tell you. Yeah, cool. What a dump. <laughs> no wonder all the Australians come over to our country. Yeah, that's about Jesus. Thing. I have to keep drinking just to sort of keep the pain away of this. I'm bitten all over. Bloody killer spiders walking over. There's one look. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big bastard, isn't it? <laughs> is this a, a Barbie? It, yeah. <laughs> is it? Congratulations to the big Barbie for the little Barbie. <laughs> we, we had, uh, what we did was for the for this small barbecue here, what we did is we got the neighbor's big barbecue from next door and stood it next to that one. And we, we had this one the next day. That sounds inconceivable to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> I think she thinks I've been drinking, John. I think you are. I'm the only sober word. They can't be drunk in charge of a barbecue. Oh, no. Particularly a baby barbecue like that. A little each. A little each. Sh show, show everybody the... I broke your pool. Oh, the pool might still broken now, isn't it? John's broken the pool. By, we asked him to put chlorine in it, and he actually accidentally went to the washing machine 
and put... What did you put in, John? That white stuff by the washing machine. Yeah. I think it's called soap powder. Soap powder. Soap powder. Well, I thought it looked a bit dirty, so I thought... <laughs> um, I thought it would clean the pool out. With, with the powder by the pool. Where's the next ticket home? <laughs> what? Well, don't mm. put me back on that. <laughs> I won't end with that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's that nasal hair, isn't it? I thought I was, it was off-putting. <laughs> Hang on, there's this one there. Oh, God, put it on the stick. It'll go mm. nicely oh, yeah, with put, cheese. Oh. Oh, how would you like the stick? Bang uh, boil. In my stomach. Try to got it. And heaven and nature sing. Yeah, love it loud. Amy. Amy. Amy, besides a visit from Santa this Christmas, what would be a very, very, very special wish? Enough of them. In this place, you can stop stop living. Living. <laughs> John's allergic to Kelsey. Jim. The other Sydney Harbour Bridge. Hi, Sydney. Let's get that Jeep. You can always tell they've got four legs. Right yes. there, Phil. Oh, yes, fine, yes. Yes, not feeling tired. Um, how long we been driving for now? Oh, ten hours, but not a problem. Look, not a problem. No problem. <laughs> oh look! It's done the wheel. I'm just still picking up. Oh, I've got lost me, yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Tiny, I know, but I'm still Blow like the back room, then. Hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Oh, my God. I was trying to rearrange the car because I think it fell off. That'd be very sick. Mr. Dubby. Glorious, oh, it's all going very well. <laughs> As you can see. That's the Goulburn big sheep. Pretty damn exciting. I'm sure you'll agree. So how far have we come and how far have we got to go? Well, we started out at what time was it? 12 o'clock. Uh, and then went back because we got the map. So it's about half past 12. <laughs> <coughs> and we're now. <coughs> what's the name of this town? Timber. Gundagi, isn't it? Gundagi. Gundagi. Uh, we've got about another 100 miles to go, I think, before we get to Rutherglen. And it's approximately. Well, it's actually quarter to seven at night on Christmas Eve. And all those people in Britain are just getting up. What time is it in Britain? Quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Past nine. Oh, no, it's morning. It's morning. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all our viewers. We're sitting in the sunshine. Sweating. Hoping to see flakes of snow on this Christmas Eve. I would. Wide 
awake. Despite the number of hours I've been driving, I'm still, I'm still up there. What about it? Still going. Still, um... My God, this is a bumpy road. <laughs> I'm still up. Where are we? Oh, yes. I thought you were the coach driver. Oh, yes. I am. I'd like to welcome you all aboard this, um, this Dobby Coachways, um, coach going this way. And, uh, and that way. My name is Phil, and I'm your coach driver, and I'm here to um, keep you nauseated during the journey. Uh, now, um, here's a funny joke. Um, have I told you the one about um, what you get if you cross a sheep with a woolly jumper? <laughs> you get a woolly jumper. Didn't tell that right, did I? Cross a sheep with a jumper, you get a woolly. Then you cross a sheep with a woolly. Anyway. Uh, more jokes later on. Stop doing that! With more dexterity. Oh, oh beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you're sitting so close to the table. I'm known in the trade as ambidextrous. And I'll close No, that's not what you're known as at all. What was it? What tune? Monster Water Lily. That's very nice, John. That's very tasteful. Oh, finish the article is there. Do it again. Look, it's a bit tight. Oh, good. Oh, good. Are you so clever? Yeah. I'm just pulling it. I ate the first two. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't taste very nice, Laura. It's been in my hand, too. <laughs> it's a what one? A leaf. It's a leaf. That's yeah. very nice. It's a little bit abstract, though, I think, John. Do you think so? Yeah. I think Andy Warhol would be quite pleased with that, don't you? He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think he's very pleased with it. Louise Jenks very excited because she's making a cheese and Branston pickle sandwich. For herself. Out of crust. <laughs> she has learned to survive. <laughs> On very little. <laughs> so you just take a blob. Um. <laughs> So is this what you do? You just take a blob like that, is that enough? Mm. And then just stick it on, roll it on the end. Oh, true. Let's pinch you around. What, Mike? It's a bit small, actually. Oh, oh. Go higher. Yes, it's really exploded too, hasn't it? No, so like this. Oh, 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 that must be bald. So, like this, Ali. Uh huh, that's it. Pinch it all round, see if they're whole. Pinch it all around. Pinch it all around, yeah. Is that really good taste? No, it's really good taste. But what's that? No, it's just a good taste. 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 It's good. It's a very entertaining game, isn't it, really? She's got the half of it. Well, you only get one puffer. Yeah. Must be able to do it without a tube and things. At least sure. a toilet roll or something. Oh, bloke. I'm washing up, I'll talk. I haven't got any red stuff left here. It's good, isn't it? Look, we've got two more boxes. We don't actually have to give them away to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a superficial Mickey Mouse, though, isn't it? You can see straight through. Exactly. Oh! <laughs> Jinx! <laughs> no, it's just walked down onto the floor. Get it, get it, Phil. No, it's not a tea one. Don't you come in here to work? I'm a doctor. Nope. Where's it gone? It's 
to the floor. Kill it. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Bugger me, look at the size of it. <laughs> well, Jinx just shown him. <laughs> Look, watch him, he's off. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're having a jolly good Christmas here. Apart from me, because I look like a right pillock. Is that that way? So that one goes. I can make water bombs out of them. Okay. Yeah. Wait, is it? Do you want to see that? Do Then what do you say? That was the. Oh. That's it then, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? I think I'm in. Well, bit, bit quick, quick handed there, Jude. <laughs> Where's that? Mm. Oh, that's it. See, you, you look, you epitomise Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Are you okay? No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> you will be there, Jinx. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I promise. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh! Run oh. <laughs> <laughs> is over to you, Tony. It's midnight. They're home for midnight there. So yeah, here you are. I'll take the phone off in private without everybody looking at all. Nah, stand up. <laughs> Yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> oh, I'm really full. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Oh. Anything else? Um, no. Not really, just a normal Christmas in Rather Glen, Australia, really. <laughs> All wanting to crash out and doing our really real best to stay awake, you know? Yeah. And have a really good time. Right. That was it. <laughs> so here we are in search of the nocturnal Australian wildlife. This means that they go to sleep during the day and they only come out at night time. So, and then we trip over the wire on the way because Phil. <laughs> It's a spastic. And let's, yes, yes, we found one. Yes, this is a nocturnal animal called a ron. Th this is a ron. As you've heard people say, see you later, ron. This, this, this is ron. Anyway, can, we, can we get a shot of that over here? Let's, we have a nice close up of ron. Yes, let, let, let's see if ron's snoring. No, no, ron is fast asleep. And he'll probably come out later. He's twitching. Oh, oh, there's, did you catch that twitch? No, I didn't. No. Yes, there, there, there's a twitch there. A slight twitch. We, we don't want to wake him up because apparently they're savage beasts when they're roused. Mm. Roused or aroused? Roused. I don't, I don't think he's in the mood to be aroused at the moment. No. So, that, that's all from Rutherglen at the moment. Now, of course, the, the one person we don't want to miss out at Christmas is the horse, so we thought we'd... we'd We'd use this opportunity to, to grab a quick interview with him. And um, here it is. And the horse is called Bendy. Hello, Bendy. Are you uh, not very talkative at the moment, but are you having a good Christmas? I think he perhaps might have a bit of an attitude problem, but I think we can get over it. Um, so, so what did you get for... No? You don't want to talk, Bendy? Uh, what did you get for Christmas? Nothing. Um... Do you, do you mind talking to me at the moment? So this is Philip Dobby, News at 10, somewhere in Australia. Do it again. <laughs> Wrong number, baby! Wrong number, baby. Back holder. Yeah, I tell you. <laughs> Smile! It shows your drawers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? You want more than a crust of bread to have somebody sitting on you in this heat, don't you? I'll give it a treat, though. Down up there! Go on then, Gallop. Good night, Bob. It's a bit difficult when you haven't got a saddle. Good hat, Tick. How's you go? Fine. How's your bud? Come. Very bad.
I'm good show myself. Standing in 100 degrees of heat near Mount Kosciuszko, and look, you see the snow. Third bow. Well, this section here, the Alpine Way, has it gone along here, is all dirt track. God. Fortunately, we've got a four wheel drive vehicle. I think I'm quite pleased by that. the dirtiest in the entire car park and they've all driven the same way as us. Look at this. And look at those. As good as new. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. John, you've got to get that hat a little bit more dusty as well. Oh yeah, hang on. Just, just... Take the wrong turn. What do you think, Phil? Well, I, I don't know. We went along that dirt track for quite a way, didn't we? Don't stand themselves. No, you've got a bit of snow on the car. Hmm. Yeah, bit of frost. Right, tomorrow we're going to try the ascent of Mount Kosciuszko. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Where's yeah, it's totally. We're here at this moment in time, and tomorrow morning we will rig ourselves out and we'll ascend via the chairlift to the Black Sally's restaurant. <laughs> it should take us approximately 20 minutes to get up there. And what's the um, ETD? Um, wear what you like. Now, what's the estimated time of departure? I would say it would take about half an hour to have a coffee and then make the treacherous descent down the mountain. Okay, troops. Don's talked through the, um, the attack plan. We're going up here to the restaurant at the top and we're all going to have cappuccino with one sugar. Get it quite clear. We're going to finish the cappuccino and then we're going to have a chaser of iced water before we descend back down to the bottom for a can of ice cold Coke. 
So cappuccino, ice water, back down for the ice cold coke. <laughs> Basically, we've lost the instruction booklet. Scowl on his face. <laughs> we don't know what we do with this bit. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's over We've got bits left over. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got a clue. We can't find the instructions. We found a use for it. This one here? Oh yeah. We've got this in the loo. She's telling yeah. everybody. They don't look right, they're going to make it, do they? <laughs> yeah. She turns out right. <laughs> so you're right there, boys and girls. Oh, Hi, yes. this, is, this is wonderful. It's marvellous. It's so quiet, isn't it? It's mm. not too cold, is it? Oh, yeah. Conker? Look, there's some snow. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody marvellous. <laughs> what I that. Well, no, <laughs> Anyone got a tin tray? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Isn't she having a good time? No. <laughs> gonna fit under that. <laughs> Quick, duck! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Oh! <laughs> we're, um, oh, he's off. we're here just to look after John because John's scared of heights and um, ah! <laughs> thank goodness that um, both Ali and I, um, we're, we're not scared of heights at all. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> so we're here just to, just to, uh, <laughs> She wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll put my feet back there. Anything else? I don't think so. No, not at all. It's just it's really, really tropical. Lovely. It is Australia, so of course it's tropical. Oh god, yeah. Point of summer. Now this is quite an unusual sighting of a wombat. You'll notice that they remain... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in the whole thing! We could have conned them, we could, they may have believed us. Hmm. No, okay, now, um, right, take two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now, a rare photograph of Ali actually kissing a wombat. There's the wombat at... <laughs> on the nose. <laughs> Seems to have liked it. Mm, I think it did. His ears have stuck up. <laughs> and his nose is shiny. And his eyes are twinkly. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> Good lord. If you can't bloody help, go away. Do you know why he's doing this then? Because he can't. It's a, like, <laughs> you can't do it. Because I didn't around. help you. He's been sodding around with those little jobs. My breath. No, you can't. I can. Hang on. Oh, no, mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so cold, you can see my breath. <laughs> that is very convincing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, no, no, don't attack the camera, man. No. No. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Service, friendly atmosphere, steam efficiency. What is it showing the me? Good the good taste. What is it really showing me? The the aspects of Australia, the, <laughs> the cuisine of Australia. It's just way too. It's just McDonald's. Mm. 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 Did you enjoy your narrow McDonald's then? <laughs> yeah, it's as good as the last one I had, which was just a few hours ago. <laughs> Oh, sorry. You keep out of this, 
Dobby. Oh, <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh my God. Wonder. Oh God. Yeah. 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 So embarrassed. Yeah. How's it going, Pamela? Oh, very well, thank you. Having a good New Year's Eve? I'd like you to actually film Maggie. Yes, Maggie is very photogenic. Oh, no, 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 no. You're checking for yourself there, Pamela. Of course, he's trying to do absolute normal, but he knows I'm filming him. Oh, look at the hands of the boys. Oh, look at the hands of the boys. Who's that talking to you? And, um, Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Got your film. We met, in a, we met in a hotel, but don't worry about it. Oh, that was a hell of a time. Take spread it out. Mode. It's very well. This lady from Canada. She's very nice. Good school, apparently. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's blessed a bit there. You'll hate me for doing this, but I've listened. You know him. Let's watch that body movement. Oh, yes. He's got the Tom Cruise sort of smile there. Okay, more of this up, which is that is a good, good job. Oh, Look at this. This is the pool on the roof of this uh, part of that. Oh, just move up the stairs. This is right on the roof overlooking the harbour. I said, well, look at this, isn't it lovely? I've got my cousin with me, I said, go in. Got them. I'll turn it off because I've had the sun too long. Excuse me. Oh yes. Um, oh yes. Five minutes. This is a very serious. It's my button. Tell me that's serious. We're going to be sensuous now. Sensuous? Oh, come on. I'm not a real person. I'm a video camera. Happy New Year. Is this going to London or what? Oh, I suppose so. Why not? For most of you, Happy New Year. Oh, they look so cute together, don't they, really? <laughs> I don't know about John in the background there, though. <laughs> What's wrong with the menage at Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. The sound on you. That would be an audio of three of us, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would be. Oh, well, there we are. That's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Go on, John. Where do we go from here? Give oh, her a kiss, John. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> anyway, what's the manual? Get out the film. You're always in the picture. Dobby, get out.
the way. I want Sue, where is she? What do you do with these videos? Do you sell them on the oh, black yes. market? We sell them do to you? other people. So is it, Dobby? Have you enjoyed your evening? Yes. Can you empty your mouth before you talk to us? Sorry? Empty your mouth before you uh, talk to us. No. <laughs> this man's got problems.
Oops. Well, let's start with the folding chairs. Oh god, he's off folding again. Folding table. <laughs> and of course the tent itself, a little bit wobbly. A little worried. Um, inside. Ooh, is it coffee green? Oh yes. Absolutely. John! Hello! 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 Hello, fancy seeing you here. What are you doing here? What a sweet I just did I put by. This is John's bedroom for the moment. Notice the leather. Uh, the leather. The leather uh, blanket on top. Looks a bit. Um, when are we putting PVC to me? When are we putting the mirror? That's a bit messy. No, yeah, it is a bit messy. We we'll have to get that tidied up. Have we got the mirror tiles? No, yes, they're coming. Like the solar heating on the ceiling. Oh, is yeah. that what it's for? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, that's on its way. Greenwich. Greenwich. Have I run anybody over behind? Hello, John. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a hippie community here, isn't it, John? It certainly is. Realize you're filming. Bloody poses. It's not very flattering. <laughs> no offence, men. Well, we both look very fat, do we? Look like a fat couple of slobs. <laughs> <laughs> Good Aussie beer drinkers. <laughs> We're going to go down there anyway, aren't we? We've got to get our two dollars worth. Oh, really? It's high winds, I get blown away. Look, if you can stand down there on that. Oh, <laughs> anyway, we're off to the Gold Coast today. Uh... Please be surrounded by incompetence. Oh, no, Vince, where is that? 
with him. Have you sucked the marrow out of this particular experience? Sucked the marrow, I feel. Sucked the marrow.
have stopped because we are having a Queensland rainstorm and in Queensland it doesn't just rain, we have golf balls this big and they make a nasty dent of your paintwork so we're stopped under a tree. It's very frightening. No, it's exciting. Night though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. I got that on. I don't think you like the idea of driving through that one. No. no it's, nice. it's quite cold though, isn't it? I don't think you're enough filming you can't have a good look. <laughs> This is all on film. <laughs> oh.
to stop sometime soon. A bit more of that. This is John Wheel curving. What? You're curving, John. Curving? So he thought we'd get it on film. Oh my god. Give me that camera. I've got a reputation to keep up here, you know, Phil. Yeah. What are you curving? Give me this camera. <laughs> this is the man that specialises in curving. <laughs> So who are you curving at, Ali? What, that, that man over there? What? Ah. That are you? John Wheel, 190, use a 10. Baby toothed members says to be good beach. Mm. <laughs> Can you introduce yourselves if you want? <laughs> Too far away. <laughs> not from here, is not. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you're right, John. Head and shoulders above that knot. Don't even think about it. They put ice down my back. Go to where? Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so innocent. Oh, <laughs> so how was the ride? Oh my, look at my knees. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have any effect on me whatsoever. I can't light up on camera, it's just no good. Oh. I was fine about it, really. <laughs> oh God, I was a bit... I don't think it's affected me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, fine. Can you be a Yes. Can you a bit silly doing this? Yes, really, yeah. I do. Here we go. Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do not have a pair of shoes, I'm funny. Go this way. Right. I've got no choice. <laughs> 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 oh, it's freezing. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God.
dizzy. <laughs> And that's magic. It's <laughs> disappearing. There's a cloud coming down into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely bubbling over. Oh, Bursting with enthusiasm. It sounds like an advertising copywriter, doesn't it? So John, it's um, been six weeks here in Australia. Is it uh, is it a six weeks that uh, you'll look back on and remember for all your life? Yes. Yes, I uh, I think it's been very good, very enjoyable. Um, can't wait to see the video actually when it comes out. And of course, six weeks is um, has been a has been a long time. Um, uh, do you wish it was more? No, six weeks has been uh, long enough. I think. Um, was it good for you? <laughs> oh yes, uh, of course. Um, six weeks. Um, do you think it could have been any less than six weeks? I think forty-two days would have been good, give or take a one or day, two days. Um, but no, six weeks is plenty of time and ample time to do what I had to do. Good. And um, of those six weeks, um, a lot of time obviously was was spent. Um, here, uh, in this house, with, with us, um, travelling around the country with us, uh, seeing Australia with us, um, spending evenings with us, having meals with us, um, uh, eating our food, staying in our house, driving in my car, um, and that's all been worthwhile for you, has it? 
Yes, it was a good deal, I must admit. But I'll